Hello, welcome back to my channel, Being Rocky. I hope everyone is having a safe and wonderful day. Well, today's a stormy day in Florida. It's the aftermath of Elsa. So it's really rainy. So me and the wife decide we want to drink some Milo. So we got some Milo, but we did, when we get the Milo and come home, we decide you can't drink the Milo alone. You gotta get tennis roll and cheese or butter. So we decide we're gonna bake the tennis roll. But for bake the tennis roll, it's a long story. You gotta get butter. So today we decide we're gonna make our own tennis roll because nobody wanna go back out on the road. So what we gonna do is we're gonna try making our own butter. We go bake some tennis roll and we gonna make some Milo. So let's get start cooking. Can I hear the thunder roll? Thunder. Our pool is dirty with all the rain. But it's pretty. The plants are happy. And I guess the fishes are happy. <laughs> it's drizzling all day. All right. So for starting to make our butter, we got some heavy cream from Restaurant Depot, premium 40%. All right, so I got my mixer around there, my little whisk. So you're gonna throw in that. And this is one quart. I <laughs> right, so you're gonna close that. And then first of all, I'm gonna start it off slow. I'm gonna keep going. And we're gonna start mixing that and that's gonna turn into butter, buttermilk and butter. But when you make fresh butter, they say it don't have a long shelf life. So you probably gotta use it out within a week or two. Imagine you make this again with cow milk. That How would, good that would be. I know, that yummy. Would be awesome. Mm -hmm. So I put the guard on because it started to spill and I'm going to put it on high speed now. Look like you start to get butter there. One more. I gotta get a taller lady. Alright. Okay. Alright, so even though I get the, the guard, I have to get a towel because it splat a lot. But we still got pee pee. Oh yeah, look. It's like whipped cream, look. Pee 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 pee. Look. That's so hard. Look. See how it's starting to get already. Oh yeah. It's our first time making butter, guys, so we're excited as well. Look at that. That is so cool. Right? Yeah. Awesome. Peeping butter make. <laughs> awesome. So after this, I think it's going to separate to the buttermilk and then the butter and then we gotta wash the butter. Yes. Rock is excited. I am. <laughs> See? I guess this is the whipped cream part of it. The soon is gonna start separating. You see with the guard, even though with the guard, how much mess it make. So you still gotta put the towel. Look, they start separating the butter from, you see, start turning like little water. So you could be buttermilk and then butter. See it? Mm -hmm. All right. So I can show you with the whisk in it. So I have to cover it back and then start it up. Thank you. 
<laughs> so you see, that's the butter, and that's the buttermilk. It start to separate. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take throw it in water. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna throw it in water. Then I'm gonna come back and beat it up a little more, and then clean it up. And then we're gonna have the butter for the tennis room. All right. So this is what they call buttermilk. That's the buttermilk. And this is my butter. <laughs> we made butter. So I'm gonna beat it up a little bit more. And then I'm gonna wash it with cold water. Nice. So there you have our butter. Unsalted. We can put some salt inside. Should we put salt? Maybe after you finish washing. Yeah. <laughs> this butter though. It's not a taste. Not a taste. See. It is butter butter. <laughs> nice. Fresh homemade butter. Nice. Look at that. So I got some cold water. Just pour that in there. And then put this back on. And put my cloth back on. So it won't make a mess. And then I'm gonna turn it on. And that's how you wash the butter. And then that's I'm washing the butter. See? See how you get clear? I see you gotta cover it because it spill a lot. So you're gonna wash it? Well, two times until the water gets a little bit clear. Like when you wash your rice mm -hmm. or dal. Water gotta be clear. Yeah. Alright. I just noticed. Are those my slippers? Babes! <laughs> You're wearing my slippers. <laughs> Alright. So after rinsing it twice. There goes my butter, nice and clean, right? Fresh, unsalted butter. Homemade, look at that. I got my little butter container there. And this is just from one quart of heavy cream. And you could flavor it any flavor you, you want. You could flavor You could put salt in it if you want. Salt it. And then you could do like a garlic butter for when you cook like fish. Oh my God, yes. shell fish. Mm -hmm. Even a honey butter. Like a honey oh, butter. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, we don't know. You're telling me how to do this. No, we could always add it. Yeah, and beat it back up. Right, right. Oh. Look at butter. <laughs> we need butter. We need bad butter. Look at that, right? Nice. Fresh butter. Alright. Now we have the butter. Now time to get started on a tennis roll. I wanna say happy belated birthday to Chochi who celebrates your birthday on the 4th of July. Happy belated birthday going out to you. From your mom, Shireen, your dad, and your sister. Happy birthday. I want to say happy birthday, early birthday to Daniel, who celebrates his birthday on the 27th of July. Hey, happy birthday, bro. Now, time to bake our tennis roll. And these are the ingredients. We got four cup of flour, quarter cup of brown sugar, half a cup of warm water, one tablespoon of lemon zest, quarter cup of melted butter that we just made, fresh butter, one cup of evaporated milk or carnation milk, one teaspoon of almond essence, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of dry yeast. All right, so let's get started baking. 
All right, so now we're gonna start mix half a cup of warm water, quarter cup of brown sugar. We're gonna stir that up. Chocolate. <laughs> it's nice and soft, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the sugar is melted. And then melt it a little bit more. Make sure you melt. And then we're gonna throw the yeast. Boom. Cover it down. Nicely dry place. And let that activate. Right? So I'll cover that down. Next, we got that one cup of evaporated milk, melted butter, quarter cup of melted butter. A little bit of teaspoon of essence. I'm gonna throw in a lemon zest there. And the salt. Sweet and salt. <laughs> Mix that up. All right. Ten minutes later, my yeast is fermented. Throw that in a mixing bowl. Then I'm gonna throw my milk and butter essence, all the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna beat that up for a couple of minutes. Sugar here. And then I'm gonna start adding my flour a little bit at a time. Things smell like tension. Sure. <laughs> Already? It's <laughs> tension. Sure. Alright. So add a little bit. Smell good, right? Mm. All right, so I added the rest of the flour. I got it on slow. Once it catch all of it, then I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. See. So that's the tennis roll dough. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna put it back in that bowl and set it aside. Nice. All right. That's my dough. So I'm gonna put it in a comfort bag now. You're gonna need it a little bit. Already wipe this out. Need it, let it get a little smooth. So nice and smooth enough.
Saya kalah BK. BK. Saya, saya macam BK kan big hands. Mm-hmm. BK so medium or bread. Guys mm-hmm. remember back in the days, there was no cake mixer. Mm-hmm. Right? Everything was done by hand. Yeah. So, that's it there. Put it in our bowl. Cover it. There it is. There you go. Nice. Alright. Mm-hmm. Time to clean up. Alright. After four or five minutes, have a tennis roll, double this size. Look. Boop. Poke it. Alright, so now we're gonna take it out. Be light. <laughs> Fluffy. So we'll take it out. I'm gonna make we want to make a little tennis roll, big tennis roll, a little one. Okay. Two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tennis roll, right? Mm-hmm. Nine, nine tennis roll again. So what we're gonna do is, wrong it up. Yep. Hold it. And I'm gonna get my baking pan. Nice. Yeah, look it. Nice tennis roll. Nice and little. Mm-hmm. Let me get my baking pan. You busy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, busy on a tennis roll. Try to make tennis roll. That's your first time making it? Yep, first time making tennis roll. So, hope our tennis roll come out good. So, I can eat them with the homemade butter and Milo. Yay. Some will be big, some will be little, but hey, it's homemade tennis roll. It can be perfect, right? Mm hmm. We don't make our tennis roll. They're not all even size. So, we're gonna cover it up now and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. All right, time to see it now. Boom, oh yeah, they swell up. See, how they get big. All right, time to put it in the oven now and let it bake. The oven is hot at 350. Here we go. Big tennis roll. All right, so I think our tennis roll is finished here. Homemade tennis roll. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that tennis roll here. All different sizes and shapes. <laughs> then. We got our homemade butter. Look at this here. <laughs> nice. Look at that, right? Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good, baby. Butter. And tennis shoes with Milo. And just a piece of guy and a cheese if you want. Mm. You don't start swallowing it. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good. You don't start swallowing it, baby. You know? You don't start swallowing it. Nice. So there you have it. My homemade tennis roll. I look they're good. Looks awesome. Or look good. Look nice. All right, Milo now, and time to eat. Okay. Transferring my camera shoulder. Ooh. And we 
wifey nice fancy thingy then it's roll mm -hmm. alright so that now we're making a milo we got two cup of milk and I'm gonna put three spoon of the milo so just in case alright milk is warm one two if you said two full full one or a little bit that good a little bit more oh no you can't that's good no. that's good think that's put, good luck take me put plenty there that would be rich okay that's good yeah so two spoon there mm -hmm. mm. and this used to be Guyanese chocolate milk mm -hmm. right this mm -hmm. almost like chocolate milk I don't know when last we had Milo. A long time. So we went, me and the wife went shopping, and we see it, and we was like, oh my gosh, we need some Milo. <laughs> On a rainy day. On a rainy day. So here you go, Milo. All right. So there you have it. We made our tennis roll. First time making tennis roll and butter, but we did this is not the first time we making Milo. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw a little bit of the Milo. And as you know, my wife brought me the little fancy cup. So I'm gonna cut my tennis roll now. You know what? Let's break the tennis roll and see instead of cut. Yeah. Oh yes, look. Nice and fluffy with some homemade butter. This just tastes nice. <laughs> and a piece of guy in a cheese. You bought a guy in a cheese. What was the best part for you, babes? The tensile or the butter? Both. <laughs> I think the butter was the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the butter. All right. Here we go. Oh my God. So far. Mm -hmm. So the tennis roll, as you can see, is nice and fluffy and soft. Look how when you squish it down. But I should have put three cup of flour instead of four. So I recommend if you do that mixture, please put three cup. It'll come out a little more fluffy. But it was awesome. Best part of the video was making the butter. Butter was awesome. So thank you for spending this little time with me and my wife cooking, baking tennis roll, making butter and Milo. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.